So hi guys, welcome to a new video today. Uh, today I'm talking about what kind of books I read and what would I recommend, what kind of books I would recommend for a new model and also for experienced model, which you should read, um, which are books from people out of the industry from different different perspectives. Those books will help you get a clearer picture of the industry and how to behave, how other models and designers dealt with situations and how you can become a better model. So let's dive right into it. I will make, actually we're about to do five books, but I decided to do six. So book number one. Um, as I'm traveling, I really love hardcover books, but as I'm traveling, I also download lo lots of books to my Kindle. And one of the books, number first book, Lessons by Giselle Bündchen. Giselle Bündchen, as you all know, is a very famous um, top model. She's very long in the business, over 20 years. So why about this book is because um, Giselle is a very um, inspiring woman, I think. She has a great attitude towards life, has a beautiful family, and I really like how she, uh, her attitude towards life is. And as it's called lessons, of course, you will learn um, from her life. So she describes her whole life, how she got into modeling, where she comes from, um, how she dealt with different situations in modeling industry, as well as in her private life. So it's a very, very private book and you will learn a lot because I discovered that if you want to achieve a goal or to become like successful in one field or wherever it's good to have like those kind of idols or those people which already achieved what you want to achieve or which are already experienced in the industry or in the business you're in. So I love to read biographies like from Giselle and yeah from people which I adore which I um, yeah, I think would be interesting to meet and to talk to and it feels like getting to know the person better. So it's a really, really nice way to learn from them and get in touch with them. And I can just recommend that book for you because it, um, yeah, you can also read all the books I will show you. You can also read if you, even if you're not a model, it's very inspiring, just like how to, um, develop as a woman, how to take, um, how to get through phases in life, which each one of us has, and um, yeah, so that's my first recommendation. So the second recommendation, and um, all these books I'm not sure about Giselle Bündchen, I will link it down below, I read it in English, I will check it out if you can also get it in German. Second book, as I'm from Germany, and um, I think Heidi Klum is like one of the biggest models from Germany and I uh, discovered a book which is quite old from her, so she was like, and it's called Heidi Klum, Natürlich Erfolgreich in German, and, uh, but it also exists in English. And this was one of my first books um, which I read from a model, um, which helped me to get a better view of the industry and also how to deal with situations, how to do a good marketing for yourself, you have to want it if you want to be a model or if you anything you want to do in life. You really have to have an aim for it or a motivation to do it. And also it's going about body, style, nutrition, sports, workouts, enjoying life. Yeah, how you can sell your own Im image. So it's a really, really interesting book um, from another perspective rather than from the perspective of Giselle, which is more like her whole life, and here's its underscored into chapters, what you can see, and yeah, it's just a different person, and um, she also has a very good insight into the industry and how she experienced meeting all those people in the industry and what tips helped her for her mindset and for her career. So that was my number two book. My number three book is from another perspective, um, this time not from a model perspective, but this time from a designer's perspective. So from Diane von Furstenberg, I think she's a very inspiring woman. She, you have the feeling she lives what she wants to be and what she, um, who she wants to be. 
and as the book is called the woman which I wanted to be so you can get it in English or in German I read it in German and it's also her like a biography like her whole life story like from the personal standpoint but of course also the business standpoint so yeah you get a different perspective on the industry from a designer standpoint and uh, also how she grew up how that developed her own yeah she had a quite hard childhood so it's very inspiring how her mother because her mother was um, called in the world war and yeah she uh, was um, close to death because she was very underway because she was caught there in the jail and um, had a really hard time there but through her attitude towards life she survived and after that doctors told her she is not able to get children so um, and then Diana von Furstenberg her daughter, first daughter was born and that's very inspiring, like a woman which is close to death, doesn't have a, normally from the doctor's side, don't have, have a chance to get children, gets a children, child and this child is getting a lot of strength from that and a lot of inspiration and yeah, I have goosebumps. I really adore this book um, because I think Jan von Furstenberg is a woman who lives her life and has a great um, fashion empire of course as well. I adore her wrap dresses and yeah it's super interesting seeing the industry from the designer's perspective, seeing how she developed her dresses, how, but also seeing her from the private angle. I really really love that book so I can highly recommend that book. <laughs> Another great book. So now for this book, I'm actually not sure if you can get it in English, but number three is called Der Modelmacher from Payman Amin. In Germany, Payman Amin is very famous. Um, he's a model agent, has his own agency. He also was in the jury of German Hicks Top Models, so it's very inspiring seeing the modeling industry from the perspective of the model agent. So the, another party rather than the model or designer, you see the model agent. And he talks about his childhood, also again like a biography about how he grew up and then also how he got, got into the business, how he developed the faces like Naomi Campbell and Heidi Klum and yeah also that he didn't have had such an um, easy childhood which is of course yeah, interesting sometimes the people have more bite <laughs> when it wasn't too easy for them and um, yeah. I think this book was also, um, I also really enjoyed reading that book, so I hope you, I can find it in English for you, but it will be in German, um, a version, which I will link all the books down below. So another book, another book, another perspective, a perspective from a lawyer's standpoint. Unfortunately this book is also so far available in German. It's called Honorare und Rechte für Models. Of course, I'm not a lawyer. I can't give you any advice on law or anything. So you have to talk to your own lawyer. Of course, I can just recommend you the book because um, you get um, from the law standpoint the insights into how to be a model, that you are self-employed, you are you have the opportunity working with agencies together or you can build it yourself. But I'm totally into agencies. I love my mother agency and I think it's great having this partner, a strong partner by your side and information about castings, like about contracts, how much the salary can be of months. Of course, it's not like the real, 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 real thing because it's also it's from 2011, so it's been quite a while, but you get like kind of an idea how the law or the right side works and also about buyouts that um, if you make a picture you have the right on the picture and or yeah um, i won't get too much into it because as i said i can't um, advise you on that um, in that side but it also was a very good book for me to to get more information about that side about the law side rather than just asking the lawyer of course you can do that as well but for me it was good um, it's good to not just rely on third parties like the lawyer or something but to also have like um, a clue by yourself as well so that's why i bought that book and read it <laughs> 
that's it. So, and now we come to number six. Number six is from another top model. You also will know her, Miranda Kerr. It's called Treasure Yourself, I think. She brought out more books, but that's the book I read. And it's called Power Thoughts for My Generation. And she also had, um, yeah, and she will also help you. Um, of course, it's also like a biography about her own career, about her own path, what happened on her way, which uh, formed her as a personality, as a character, which brought her where she is today. Also, um, how important confidence is how important for herself and also right now I don't do it too much but affirmations I don't know if you heard about it but affirmations are also very very good like um, you can also call it kind of self-talk like those sentences which you say to yourself like if you have like a motivational speech kind of to yourself like if you say like yeah I can make it I will do it um, I'm strong enough I'm good enough I um, sentences like that, I'm beautiful enough, um, I deserve that, or if you mostly say to yourself the opposite, like I don't deserve that, I'm not good enough, blah blah blah, like the um, good and bad voice or the negative and positive thoughts and voice inside your head. So um, she really works on that as well um, with affirmation, with affirmation, she gives you a whole list of affirmations she loves. Um, which you can tell yourself or like for example it's more stronger when you look into the mirror and look into your own eyes and then tell those sentences to you yeah it's very very crucial for your subconscious and your conscious mind on how you will start to develop your own thinking your own mindset and how you will have your own attitude towards life first it feels a bit weird like talking to yourself with those <laughs> positive sentences um, but from my own experience I can just highly highly recommend it to you if you say things to yourself yeah in fields of life where you want to develop you will get a huge huge difference how you think about it yeah how you think about it will affect how you act and that um, affects the results of course so if you're more like you want to become braver for example then you get like those pushing uh, sentences you want to get more out of your confidence so and so you will experience different things um, rather than if you're afraid of everything and you're like, oh, I can't do that because I'm so afraid and uh, every, um, everything I do, uh, something can happen, blah, blah, blah. So maybe that's a good um, picture to understand that you will, um, yeah, that that will affect your life. How do you think? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm really into that. That's like a big theme in that um, book. So all about the mindset, of course, what you eat and um, relationships and yeah, how you should behave or how it's, yeah, how she, what she learned, what helped her um, getting along well with other people in the industry and becoming a better human being and yeah, all those things. So those were my top six books. Um, which I read during the start of my career in the last years to develop my personality, my uh, yeah, my modeling and also my attitude towards um, life, towards other people, to um, understand better the industry. I'm really in love with the industry. I really love the um, fashion industry, the beauty industry, the modeling industry. I think it's a very, very, very creative area to work in and I'm... Um, I'm really met very inspiring people and yeah I hope you can get an inspiration from those books as well as I said even if you're not modeling um, because there are so many other great jobs <laughs> rather than being a model and um, I would highly recommend reading those books for um, reading those books I will link them down below so you can get them and then you can read them and yeah, it would be great getting a comment from you. Um, what kind of books helped you? Doesn't matter in which area, which books you love, like personal development, eating, skincare, whatever, uh, modeling, or just a normal story, which was a book which really inspired you and 
which you really loved. I would love to hear that. And we will see each other in the next video. Subscribe down below, give the video a thumbs up and till the next time. Ciao!